I have a play to direct. Your painting class will have to hang their daubs elsewhere. You can't use the stage. We'll be rehearsing. I asked for a small table. Perhaps you remember. Will this do? Will what do? Well, come and look. Yes. Oh, oh, well, I'm so glad. And thank you for holding the curtain for me. Oh, thank you, Daisy. I'll never learn all this. Yes, you will. No, she won't. Oh, thanks, Sonslow. Gentlemen are scarce hereabouts. No problem. Uh. Why is it you never have any faith in me? Well, could it be because that I once caught you behind a bus shelter with that noodle from Derby? Well, that was before we were married. Before you taught me what love is. Yeah, let go of the arm, Daisy. It's too early for that much body heat. Well, you used to think it was never too early. Yeah, well, I used to think Bogner was in Russia. Some people still do. I fear I've been a mortal enemy of the painting class. Yes, well, I shouldn't have forgotten. I've been reminded often enough. Hyacinth's exhibiting a painting this time. Must you mention that name? Do I constantly have to be reminding of Hyacinth? Isn't it enough that we live next door? When we're off the premises, I prefer to be Hyacinth free. So real. It was just a casual mention that she's exhibiting. Hyacinth has been exhibiting Hyacinth since the cradle. Yes, well, this time she's also exhibiting her artwork. I'm under a malign fate here, Liz. Dark forces are arrayed against me. Oh, that's right, look, stay calm. Look on the bright side. At least she's got no interest in the play. But she'll be in the building. Well, she can't be here all the time. Any time with Hyacinth seems like all the time. There's a blessing in this, Liz. There is? Yes. I like it. Ha ha! I love the fact that she'll be um, annoying the painting class. Oh, oh, the old sayings are right, you know. Her absence will make the heart grow fonder. Yes, well, the trouble is, there are too many not showing any interest in this play. You've still got parts to cast. It's always like this at the beginning. You have to winkle the timid from their shells. Here, we're off for a body. Anyone else fancy one? Uh, not for me. I'm artistic. I live on my nerves. I found this bot looking lost, too. Which bot? Ah, see? See what I mean? Lost. Here, hang about. I'll go and see if I can cut him off before he finds the exit. Come on. Here. We won't bite. Come on. Okay, now look. Just relax. Stand there and don't move. Emma, I think he wants to join us. Oh, that's if it's no trouble. Uh, I can always come back if I'm being a nuisance. I'm being a nuisance, aren't I? Oh, I'm sorry. I can see now as a bad idea when I get these bad ideas. No, no, no. Join us. You're joining us. Inspired idea. Great timing. Come in. A volunteer. We don't let those slip away. That's for sure. How do you do? I'm Emmett. I'm directing. And you are? Uh, Millie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you said Millie. Oh, I did. A stage name, perhaps. You've thought of one already. Forward thinking. I like that. No, not a stage name. Um, I'm, I'm invariably known as Millie. I even feel like a Millie. <laughs> well, there's no need to feel anything other than welcome, Mr. Milson. Absolutely. I'm sure we've got room for a Millie. What do you think, Liz? Could we have found our Major Forbes Elliot? Why not? It's quite a decent little part, Mr. Milson. You, you mean I can have a part? You, you let me act. That's why we're here. Will you lot crossing the hall keep it down, please? I'm trying to audition here. You can't bully the other users of the hall. Why not? I enjoy it. <sighs> was that Emmett? I do believe that was Emmett's voice. Oh, no. <laughs> I must have a word with dear Emmett. He'd never forgive me otherwise. Keep it away. 
You wouldn't believe the hurt if I was to accidentally ignore him. Keep her away. How can I keep her away? Don't tell her about the play. Oh, she's bound to know about the play. Look at him. How shy he is with me. <laughs> I wonder sometimes if it's not the teeniest bit naughty the way you think about me. You'd be surprised how naughty. <laughs> well, we'll keep it our secret. Now, I have a bone to pick with you, Emmett. I come confidently expecting to see my hand-painted, selected for special mention artwork displayed here on the stage where it can be most suitably appreciated. Uh, not possible. Tell her this. I speak not only for myself, of course, but for the entire painting class. I mean, we've always had the stage. Uh, booked. Weeks ago. Say something, Liz. What, what, what are you exhibiting this time, Hyacinth? Oh. A charming little something I painted on silk. A very fine quality, genuine French silk. You should have guessed. Oh, you see how he knows that I prefer silk to anything as coarse as canvas? Well, it's turned out really rather well. I call it Willow by Moonlight. Although I must tell you how saddened I am not to see it hanging here. I said, if there was any possibility of hanging you here, I would give it my full attention. Willow, Willow by Moonlight, that, that sounds charming, as you say, charming. Yes, it's caused quite a stir, Elizabeth. I first showed it to uh, Richard and he was... Uh, Speechless? Totally. I had to remind him to close his mouth. Bless him, he seemed quite overcome, you know. I catch him looking at me sometimes, wondering where it all comes from. I know how he feels. Oh, and he'll be sorry to learn that the, the exhibition has been relegated to little better than an outhouse. Oh, I think it's not that bad, Hyacinth. You've got the annex. How long will you be with this play thing? A weeks, months. Oh, well, couldn't you take a little break? I mean, give us the weekend at least. It could bring you very high on my candlelight supper list. Uh, the set's already up, as you can see. Uh, we can't take it down again. Well, it seems to me that one's original artistic creation should take precedence over often repeated performances of someone's past work. Who is that fidgeting in the background? Oh, that's Mr. Milson. He's our newcomer. Is he anyone I should know? The man has enough on his plate. Oh, he, he's very new. We'll let you know. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wilson! <laughs> I'm Hyacinth Bouquet. How are you settling in? Oh, you like it here? It's not the big city, but we do have our little islands of culture and style. Oh, I must put you down for one of my sought-after luncheons with linen napkins and crystal tableware. <laughs> oh. Do forgive me. This can be someone very important. Not forgiven, Hyacinth, um, for taking no interest in the play. Today I can forgive you for anything. You've reached the personal mobile of Hyacinth Bouquet. This is she speaking. Oh, Violet, it's my sister Violet. You know, the one with the swimming pool and room 